Hello YouTube, welcome to another one of my Duel Links videos. So today I have for you a frog deck. You know, uh, some people were, were wanting to see, uh, you know, new decks from the from the last box that came out and I decided to start with frogs. Uh, but before I get into the deck, I just wanted to do a little quick disclaimer. I'm using Last Gamble in the deck again and you know, some people were mentioning how I've been doing a lot of last gamble decks lately and you know is this gonna turn into a, a last gamble channel and it's definitely not it just so happens that um, a lot of the decks I've been doing uh, benefit from having cards in the grave like you know the Feast of the Wild, Black Luster Soldier uh, frogs especially benefit from you know going into the grave so when you use last gamble to discard it doesn't really become a minus it's almost like a plus because you're you're benefiting from those cards hitting the grave and you're gonna get to draw cards so it just works really well in this deck um, I'll probably stay away from last gamble for a little bit after this but in this uh, it works really well so anyway our main monster is going to be death uh, this card has a really cool effect when you tribute summon it you can special summon death frogs from your hand or deck up to the number or of of tadpoles that um, are in your graveyard. So this is the tadpole, and you know this is the card that you want in your grave, and that's why last gamble just works really well here. Uh, if if this gets destroyed by battle, you can add two tadpoles from your deck to your hand, and then you immediately have your cost, so to speak, for last gamble. So that's why, you know, Last Gamble just works really well. Um, I'm also using Screech, because as you know, if it gets destroyed by battle, you send two water monsters from your deck to the graveyard. So you're obviously going to send the Tadpoles, or you're going to send um, Threeborn Frog, because Death Frog is a, you know, it's a one tribute monster, so Death Frog, I mean, Threeborn Frog can, you know, make it easier to, to summon for it. So a lot of times what I'll do is if I have a, a tadpole in hand and I have one in grave already, I'll just send another, you know, the the three born frog and another tadpole from uh, from the deck. Anyway, so you know, Screech is very uh, versatile in the deck. I would run three if I had it, but I don't. Uh, we run three crystals here because you know it just helps you draw and you know get through your deck. And it's also water, so it actually works with uh, Moray of Greed, which you know you sh you shuffle two water monsters from your hand into your deck, and then you draw three cards. I have this card just almost like a security blanket in case I don't have my combo pieces. Even after the last gamble, um, more than likely I'm gonna have two water monsters that I can just shuffle back. Or if I open too many tadpoles, I send them back uh, because I want to send them with Screech, you know, to the graveyard. So the reason why um, why you want three frogs on the field is so you can use Death Croaking. Uh, this card, if you have three face-up Death Frogs, you destroy all cards your opponent controls. It just nukes the field. It's it's pretty crazy. That's why in this deck, you know, you don't need Storm, you don't need Wall Tornado. Uh, you just need Death Croaking, and then you'll have an empty field to go for the OTK. Um, I run two enemy controllers, both as a uh, protection to survive until the last gamble turn or until I have my combo pieces and also you know if you if you don't have death croaking and there's a monster that you need to get rid of you can use econ take and then try to swing for game that way uh, we run two double summon because I only have one three born frog so you know if, if I don't have that special summon then I need to normal summon something first and then tribute for my death frog and we also run one super rush just in case you don't finish the OTK, um, in the turn you activate Death Croken, you have some protection for your frogs because they don't have any defense and they're only 1900. Uh, you can also run Tribute to the Doom. It, you know, it's another, it has good synergy because you can dump uh, a Todd Pole to destroy a monster. So, anyway, that, that's it for the deck. I'm only going to do replays because I really need to start farming Merrick. As you can see, I have. 999 maps it's actually more than that but that's as many as it's gonna show on there so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do that all night and but I wanted to upload something for you guys so let's go ahead and get into this replay 
in in this first one we're going up against Weevil and the duel is it's not that great but uh, I just had to save this replay because he wasn't running burn and the idea of frogs versus insects was just kind of a a little ironic and I was like okay I, I gotta show this and uh, his deck is actually you know not bad so anyway I open up with Screech which is it is great I basically have all my combo unfortunately for me uh, Weevils is not planning to attack at all so the 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 duel gets stalled for a little bit he's just setting cards uh, I keep destroying them with uh, Screech you know hoping that it's a pinch hopper and he's gonna summon a grass chopper but he just keeps setting monsters um, not very not committing to to anything really and I just have my crystal here I believe oh no my, I have my three born fro uh, three born frog set and this is this is just what happens for a while you know he's just setting monsters not doing anything uh, finally I get the the grass chopper to come out and then he tributes for another one so once my Screech uh, you know, gets destroyed, I send two Tadpoles to the grave. And the reason why I Econ take right here is because uh, Threeborn Frog only activates if you don't have any spell or traps. So I needed to get rid of uh, you know, both cards. Once it's special summon, you know, I tribute for my Death Frog. Summon my other two, activate Death Croak, and unfortunately he has the Windstorm so I'm not going to be able to do any damage. And he also takes one of my frogs, um, so he gets destroyed. However, he doesn't have a monster. Uh, my three frog com comes back, and I'm actually 100 life points, uh, or I would have been 100 life points short. But he summons the uh, three tokens using Spider Egg, and then we're gonna see uh, Empress Mantis. And here I have to go for last gamble because the only out I have for the Mantis is enemy controller and I almost decked myself out by rolling a 6 um, but I do get my enemy controller so I just destroy the tokens and econ take for game um, pretty intense you know I, I almost lost to my own lost last gamble so that was kind of funny you know you only roll a 6 when you don't want to roll a 6 anyway let's get into the second replay It looks like my phone has been uh, a little bit laggy, so I apologize for that. I actually had a couple other issues. This is like my third time recording. So anyway, let's just get through it. Going up against uh, Yami Yugi. And he just sets. I have my Screech, so I just set that. And then he summons a 2000 beater. I get my two tadpoles into the grave. And then here's what I was telling you, I have two crystals here, so I set one and then I use my uh, Moray of Creed to shuffle two back and draw three. And I actually get all of my combo pieces. So Moray of Greed uh, came pretty, pretty clutch right there. Crystal Seer. I decided to pick up another double summon uh, just to have as a, you know, as a last gamble discard. And I have to discard uh, my death croaking because I, I, you know, I can't discard my death croak. And unfortunately, I don't get another um, death croaking, but I have enemy controller, so I'm gonna be able to use that aggressively and, um, you know, finish the game. I destroy the Doom Dog. Activate enemy controller to steal the uh, Gilgar, and then just swing for game. He has one Spear Kuribo, but my two frogs are more than enough to take him down. Alright. And you know, if I didn't get enemy controller, I could have used uh, Super Rush if I drew into that. So, that, that, that was my reasoning behind the card choices. You know, not, um, not got full, you know completely all out on just the uh, OTK, uh, you know, I, I, I had to have some sort of backup plan. The ladder did reset, so all these duels were uh, in gold. 
So here I have uh, turn one crystal seer, which is it's perfect. You want to see crystal seer or you want to see screech uh, turn one. I just pick up another crystal seer because I don't I didn't want the other card. I didn't even notice what it was. And I actually set my desk croaking. I mean, not my desk croaking, my uh, tadpole because I wanted it to get destroyed by battle, so I could you know draw two and get my last gamble. However, he used his soul exchange. So I decided to stop the attack because I wanted to um, Econ take and then Tribute for my uh, Death Frog. I take a pretty big risk here, shuffling back um, my you know my only Death Frog, and it doesn't uh, it doesn't pay out too much, so I have to go for Last Gamble. I roll a five. There's my uh, my Death Frog. There's only one tadpole, however. On the in the graveyard, so I can only summon one of them, uh, meaning that my death croaking is dead. But I have the double summon, so I can actually just summon my screech and uh, finish the game that way. So again, you know, I didn't have the full combo, but I still had enough, uh, you know, presence on the field to to end the game. Uh, and that was Jami Bakura, right? Yeah, so let's go. Let's go for this one. Against Playmaker. Hey, you must watch the new anime. Also, we are so close to 2000. It's it's pretty crazy. I'm I'm super excited. Uh, and I've been talking to a lot of you guys that joined the Discord. Uh, that's definitely been a lot of fun. I'm gonna have the link down in the description uh, if you guys want to come and you know talk to us over in the Discord. I think we're at like 50 members, so pretty awesome. Anyway, he tributes to the Doom my crystals here, unfortunately, um, but I have another one, so I get my Death Croaking. Um, I definitely didn't want to pick up another tadpole, and I made it to the last gamble turn. So this is what I was saying. I can just dump my two tadpoles. And it's like my last gamble was free because, you know, I wanted those in the graveyard anyway. So I summon crystals here, go econ take, and I did this just in case he had something like uh, order to charge. That he couldn't chain that to my uh, death frog. Because then I would have lost my uh, death croaking uh, ability. He doesn't, he has super rush, uh, but you know, it's, I'm destroying everything so it doesn't matter. And then I just swing for game. Pretty pretty easy win on that one. And then uh, we're gonna see what I thought was the the best uh, the best replay. Not necessarily the most um, you know back and forth play, but my opponent had a feel that you know I would take 80% of the time and feel very comfortable with it. And then the frogs just obliterate him. So he's going first, he's playing balance. I'm going first, I'm sorry. Uh, I just set my screech. He activates stray lambs. And then sets a monster. I wonder what that is. Um, I don't draw into anything, so I just hold on to my cards. He activates uh what is it? Mausoleum of the of the Emperor. And then he summons two uh, or he had one invader of darkness already. Summons another one, and look at that feel, even with the Solemn Wishes, to put a bunch of pressure. Um, I dump my 3 Born Frog, um, and one Tadpole, because I already had one in hand that I was gonna dump with Last Gamble. And then, you know, my uh, 3 Born Frog came back, I summoned my Death Frog, nuked the entire field, and just end the game. <laughs> Two Invader of Darkness, taken down by some wimpy frogs but anyway that's gonna be the video for you guys um, I hope you guys enjoyed it this this deck is really fun uh, you know it's, it's a lot more fun than I thought it would be um, I'm definitely gonna be making some other stuff and I'm gonna stay away from last camel for a little bit uh, thank you guys so much for watching oh also there's a I have it in the extra deck but I didn't add polymerization or anything uh, the fusion is not that good this combo is way better in my opinion but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
As always, like, comment, and subscribe if you want. And until next time.